So yeah, I would have been about. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Been about twelve or something. Twelve years old. And this stick came from Inverness from a company called J.S. McPherson. And uh, beautiful. I, I I think that's. I've got other ones, other sticks somewhere, but uh, this one I think is that's that's amazing. You know, beautiful. Hey, my name is Donny Grant and uh, I have been in Canusi for, oh, <laughs> 60 years or something like that. There's a football team here that plays in the summertime and, and things like that. And, but there's nothing compared with the Shinty Club, you know. The Shinty's mm, just one of the top sport, on the, the top sport in this area, I would say. Well, I was born in 1938. Uh, so about 15, 18 years after that, I was played in the senior team. And there was two or three of us that uh, were playing and, and uh, that got us back. But we weren't good enough to, to win the trophy, the main trophies. You know. Well, I'm Joe Taylor. I'm currently chieftain of Shinty Club. Well, we were the first team to win the Kamenach Cup and uh, Newton Moore have won it the most and we won it 1896, we won it regularly till 1921 and then we didn't win it for 40 years till 1961. Don't ask me why but we didn't and then we didn't win it again till 84 and then from then on for the next 20 odd years we nominated. Uh, our first team went 95 games without defeat. Our second team, I was with the second team then, went 107 games without defeat. Uh, at the same time, there's no other club has done that. Uh, and ourselves and Newt Moore uh, claim that Bainock was the home of Shinty. And I think I'm right in saying that if you add up all the trophies that Kings and Newt Moore have won together, it's more than the other 38 clubs added up together. So we can't claim, in my view, we can claim that Bainock is the home of Shinty. And I had, as a football player as well, <laughs> so I played uh, for Nairn County and, and, and uh, Nairn County and for, uh, they were the only major football team I played for, you know. And when I came back from the football, I learned a lot from them, the training and all this sort of thing, you know, and how to do it. And I took it back here with me and, and uh, got all these younger guys trained up and everything. And all of a sudden we were back up at the top again, you know, and off at the top. And we oh, continued that for 10 years, maybe, you know, fantastic. There were things coming in and, and newspapers and things like that. Can you see you would set up a record of number of times they had won the trophy and, and, and that, over that period, you know, yeah. So that was great. Yes. Uh, the war time was, broke everybody up and uh, it was difficult to get a team back. Didn't have enough, didn't have enough good players, you know? and all of a sudden, drop down, but not out of the top level, but drop down, you know. And then it was a case of gradually building it all. You know, it, came, it came through. So today, um, what we have is a young team. Uh, most of them in their twenties. You know? So that's young for, for Shinty mainly, and uh, they are getting better and better and better, you know. They're at the top of the league just now, but uh, 
a, and they're playing in the cup final, a cup final on Saturday. So uh, yeah, that's the position they're in, you know, and uh, they, they've got the youth there with them, which is better than most clubs, you know, so good. Mm -hmm. Well, I would say that it's quite important to, to gather what you're doing, gathering everything together, and uh, uh, I have not as yet got dementia, but I'm inclined to forget people's names sometimes. So anything you can do to bring people, you know, improve the, the, the standard of living, not standard of living, but standard of life, uh, it's important. No, I've got Alzheimer's, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but... Mm. Sometimes it bothers me, you know, and I don't get on the move or anything like that, but I've been lucky with the Alzheimer's and then with the people like John picks me up, you know, I don't drive anymore. He'll pick me up and we'll go away somewhere and do speak to the others, you know, so it's good to have. And, uh, but we were always good friends, John and I, you know, from school days and, and, and everything. And he's been great for me, you know, just now. And, helping me what I'm doing and everything like that, you know, so. But I can help him because I know what he's trying to do, you know, and with other people and all that. So he picks me up and we go up to, um, up above Inverness or whatever, you know, and meet people there and go and see them and, ah, oh, they love it, you know. I, so, so uh, yeah, it's good. It's been, a, you know, quite honestly, I've had a great life, you know. And the fact that I'm 80 years old now, I can't believe it, you know. <laughs> well, the, the aim of Shinty Mo Memories as a project is essentially to support those suffering and living with dementia and Alzheimer's. Uh, we do have quite a number in our community here, which is not commonly known, but... Uh, we're aware of that and what we're doing is to try and support them in the Memories Project using our Shinty photography, our artefacts and uh, even the filming that we're actually about to produce or are producing at the present moment to use in the, in the cafes and in support of those uh, with dementia. <laughs>